Hello, Mr. On Demand, man with the master plan, back again with another great video. My master plan today is to help you because Microsoft may have told you that your Windows is just not upgradable. Your computer doesn't meet the requirements. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is ways around that. And you're going to actually be able to use the official ISO image from Microsoft. And no, you don't have to do a bunch of weird registry edits. You just got to click a few boxes and make a flash drive that will just install Windows 11. It's very easy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you need to get the Microsoft uh, ISO image for Windows 11. This is very easy. It comes straight from Microsoft. I'll leave a link in the description to this page. It's the Microsoft.com uh, English software download Windows 11. And you can go ahead and scroll down. And you're going to see download now for the uh, installation assistant. We don't want that. Create Windows 11 installation media. Download now. We don't want that because we're going to use something else to create the USB drive. Download the Windows 11 disk image. We're going to do that. Windows 11 ISO. We're going to select download multi-edition ISO. Download now. And then we're going to uh, select the product language. So we're going to select our language. Whatever language uh, you want it to be, you're going to select that. So let's go, go ahead and select... Uh, English United States and I am going to confirm this and it's going to go ahead and download. Now it says 64-bit download right here and it's downloading my image and my image will be downloaded uh, here shortly. Okay the next step is you're going to need to download a program called Rufus. It's free. There's You don't have to pay anything for it. Don't worry about that. Just go ahead to uh, go to rufus.ie and uh, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video as well. Scroll down and you're going to see some little images here uh, showing you about Rufus, but you're going to see some different links. So we're doing the standard Windows uh, X64 right here. So that's what you want is to download that one. So you go ahead and click on that. And again, that's going to go ahead and download. And there we see that it is downloaded already. So what you're going to do is go ahead and open that uh, download up. And there's our ISO image that we downloaded just a minute ago. And there is Rufus. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and double click on that. And that should go ahead and open up Rufus. Let's go ahead and open it up. And there is Rufus, nice and opened up. Now, the next step is we're going to need to get the flash drive ready. Okay, I have my flash drive, and I would recommend at least a 16 gig flash drive for this. This one's a 32, and it's kind of nice to have a little more storage because you can go ahead and take and make a folder on this afterward and throw a bunch of software that you'd like to install on your Windows 11 machine after the Windows 11 installation. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this into my computer, and we're going to get right to making this flash drive. Okay, so we have Rufus open. And it sees the flash drive. I plug the flash drive into my USB port on my computer. And it says a disk or ISO image. You want to press the select button right here. And you're going to select that ISO image. There's the ISO image that we just downloaded. It is Windows 11 24H2. We're going to select that. Now, another, uh, this is a big thing right now you need to do before you start hit the start button and try to make your flash drive turn it off. We're going to go into our virus protection manage settings and we're going to turn off the real-time protection and that is turned off. Now a lot of times the virus protection will end up blocking you being able to make the flash drive. You can turn it right back on when you're done but you need to turn it off during this process. Let's go ahead and hit the start button and you don't need to change any settings in here. Now you've got all these, you want to check mark all these boxes. Now I'm not, I don't want it to say Mr. On Demand. I'm just going to have it say owner for the heck of it. Create a local account with username owner. Set regional options to the same values as the user. Disable data collection and disable BitLocker. And it's also, as you can see, disabling secure boot TPM and the requirements for a Microsoft account. We're going to hit okay. And it says warning all data on the device will be lost. This device is going to be erased. And we're going to hit, hit OK. Now it's creating our drive. So while the ISO image is being created, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe to this video. If you're having any troubles with this, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to try to comment back and help you. Also, there'll be 
a link right up here for another video on Rufus if you're interested. All right, so what we got here is the uh, drive is ready. As you can see, it says ready. It completely finished the process of creating the flash drive. That means my flash drive is ready to go ahead and be plugged into a old non-supported PC and able to load Windows 11. Let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, so here's the old Xeon computer. We're gonna install this on this 12, 13 year old computer. Uh, you're gonna stick the USB drive in the back like that right there, not on the front. The back usually gives you a better connection. Try to find a blue port if you can do USB. Uh, find out what key you need to push to get to your boot menu on your particular machine and then select your USB uh, drive that you have inserted. It's going to start up to the install and we're going to see the install take place now you're going to see that uh, it's going to ask us normal questions like what language, etc. Uh, and you're just going to go through the install, US keyboard, Windows 11, and uh, we're going to also delete all the partitions. This particular drive already has a load of windows on it, so we're going to wipe out the, wipe out the windows on it, uh, wipe every, all the partitions out uh, for partition zero. Uh, because the other partition is the USB drive that's going to show up on here. Uh, so searching for disks at this point in time. And there it is. There's the partition zero. We're deleting all the zeros. And now all we have is one partition left there. And we're going to go on with our install. This is a very quick, easy process. Uh, you don't have to do a whole, whole heck of a lot. Windows 11 Pro, keep nothing. Uh, we're doing the install and the install is going to go through. I've already skipped through the main installation uh, where it counts down and everything. So you won't have to see a lot of that garbage in this video. And we are going to go through to the next restart. It's going to restart again, give you some percentages. And then it's going to go ahead and do a restart again. So we end up with a blank screen and it's going to go ahead and do another restart. I tried to show you all the times it restarts. So it restarts a few times during this entire process. And uh, you just go with the flow on that. There's the uh, Dell screen again and the restart process. And there is the install again coming back up in just a moment. This machine has Wi-Fi, so it's asking you to connect to Wi-Fi. You don't have to. I skipped that. I usually, I would recommend skipping connecting to any internet connection and unplug your internet from the computer during the install process. Makes things a little uh, straightforward. You'll notice right there, I didn't have to create an account. It created my local account for me uh, without having to worry about any, uh, creating any local account during the install process. Very quick and easy. So it's gonna boot right up, right into Windows without me creating an account. It didn't ask me to create a Microsoft account with those features that we turned off. I turned off all of the TPM and the secure boot and everything that was on this particular machine. Uh, I did two different installs. I had a little problem with some of the recording, but you're gonna see uh, the final install on the older Xeon machine that I showed the pictures of the computer at the beginning, and that is going to show up right here. So this is the old Xeon. Uh, computer with 32 gig. You can see it's a really old. If you look that processor up, it's 12, 13 years old. It's really old. It definitely is not in the, the list of supported hardware for Windows 11. And now we're going to look at Windows 11 Pro right here, uh, showing you that it is 24H2. And it's absolutely, uh, you know, a terrific setup here. Uh, there is the uh, Dell machine. Uh, that machine I turned off again all the secure boot and TPM module to run the test on this to see how it would work. I've also installed this Windows 11 on a few other machines. It's absolutely not giving any issues or hiccups. It does updates correctly. Um, no problem at all using Rufus and doing this install. If you want to see future installs like upgrades, subscribe to the channel and you'll definitely get to see that in the future. So uh, that'll be terrific for you all for watching this video. I hope this really helped you out. If I missed anything, please let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more great content like this in the future. I'll be putting out a lot more information for you that helps you out in your everyday computer needs. I'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.